Hello everyone and welcome to North Korea Best Korea. Since we last played, Pyongyang has grown substantially. We're clearing 115,000 odd citizens now. And we've made some pretty interesting improvements to the city. So first of all, we have this fantastic farming district up here. People's Farms, as it's called, keeps people of Pyongyang fed with potatoes and cabbages and rice and things like that. Pretty exciting stuff. And, of course, cargo terminal to keep it busy. Across the central districts here, across what is uh, the, the Yangang province, we have new Yandere Square and exciting housing opportunities for, for interested visitors. Lots of low-density housing here, hopefully keeping our farms well supplied with workers. A few of them are a bit short, but they'll have to do. And, of course, new commercial and business districts. Always demand for that. Across the center of the city, Nampo Special City has developed, and we'll talk about that soon. And, of course, Dennis Rodman Square has had significant sporting upgrades. We have an Australian rules footy oval. We don't even know what Australian rules is. I've got no idea how to play it, but we have one. Just in case, just in case good old Dennis comes visiting and would like to uh, have a game. Looks like one of our citizens is checking it out. Katie Lee visiting the footy oval. Hmm. No one wants to play there, they just want to visit. We have more baseball pitches. We have tennis. We have pickup basketball fields. We have playgrounds for the kiddies, of course. The dear leader loves little children. Preferably soft-boiled. Over here on dear leader's face, we have some useful and interesting enhancements. First of all, hiding as buttons in his jacket. We have our rocket program. A rocket program, indeed. A monument. Crime rate is high here, apparently. North Korean workers monument. We'll have to do something about that. We have a rocket hiding amongst his buttons and his eyeballs. Another rocket, as you can see, fueled and ready to launch in case any kind of mischief is detected from the Imperial West. Looks like we've had dead people there. We need to clean up those bodies, but uh, workplace accidents, no problem when you're building the future of North Korea. Some things are worth dying for. North Korea's smoking rocket tower, that's definitely one of them. Over here, we have a little bit of power to keep things ticking along, and of course a shuttle. Ready to launch, at a moment's notice, straight out of Dear Leader's eyeballs into the face of the enemy. Pretending to be an earring, we have a fantastic observatory here. It provides us with sight to the east of what the Imperialists are up to. Additionally, we have completed ringing the city with freeways and cargo terminals and new passenger terminal and airport down here. As you can see, quite a few people like to come through this area. Power seems to be a bit low. Let's throw down another wind turbine. We're all about the renewables in North Korea. There we go. That should keep things ticking along. So we have a fantastic train station here, currently picking up a bit of electricity. And we have a uh, airport here where planes dodge a giant horde of seagulls. Of course, North Korean pilots have absolutely no problem with this. All in a day's work when you're ferrying around the good people of Pyongyang. Across the rest of town, freeways bring visitors from outside of Pyongyang. And our new ports here also ferry wonderful visitors, tourists to Pyongyang and cargo as well. In North Korea, we don't need pilots to guide our ships. They are tough, rugged vessels. They merely bounce off each other like bumper cars on the fairground. Nampo Special City has had its destiny revealed through the construction of a Hadron Collider. It's not a large Hadron Collider. I would quite like a large Hadron Collider, but we're not allowed one. I think we can only build a Hadron. I don't really know what a Hadron is, but I can tell you that the people of Pyongyang collide them regularly. Apparently this is good for their education. One must assume that a Hadron is something like a book. Perhaps we collide with them through the physical interaction of the book and the back of our heads. The people of Pyongyang love the Hadron Collider, and we have many visitors to this location, as well as the scenic walk that takes them to, their, to, this, to this exciting destination from across town. I'm pretty sure it's not meant to do that. Never mind, the engineer's responsible. 
will be punished. Anyway, that's all from North Korea this week. Tune in next week for more exciting tales from Pyongyang, the happiest little city in the world. <laughs>